Hello and welcome to Morningstar. I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by Professor Gert Gigerenza to talk about risk. Hello, Professor. Hello. So I suppose the first question we should start with is what is risk? Now, uh, if you are in a world of certainty, there is no risk. But most of the time, we are not in a world of certainty. And risk is usually a term meant for a situation where you can fairly know the probabilities as opposed to uncertainty. So that's risk. So, for instance, and the problem is that many people don't understand risk and also others try to mislead you. The World Health Organization recently informed us and warned us that for every 50 grams of sausage we eat, your risk of getting colon cancer increases by 18%. Many of my friends stopped eating sausage because they believed so out of 100 people, 18 will get colon cancer. No, it was a trick. The risk increased from lifelong about 5% to almost 6%. That wouldn't cause much fear, but instead of saying one percentage point or less one, it's 18%. So from five to six would be 20%, it's less than 80%. And it's a common trick. It works for most people and one can steer their emotions and their behavior. And how does this misinterpretation of risk impact investors and their portfolios? Oh, we know from studies that even professional brokers and uh, people who are in the investment business do not really always understand what volatility means. So one study in the US, in New York, showed that most professionals uh, confused volatility with the average deviation. Volatility is a standard deviation which is larger, so they underestimated volatility. That's one example. Another one is that the general public is not financial literate, with very few exceptions. And I think we need to do something about that. That we create a society where people can make informed decisions. And we are not there, and we do very little about that. That was going to lead on to my next question, is what can we do? What can we do harnessing what we know about behavioural science, perhaps, to make sure that we don't come a cropper when misinterpreting risk? Uh, one thing to do is uh, start early, say in school. And uh, our children learn lots of things. Few of them, few of them they will need in the rest of their lives. But how to deal with money? how to deal with health, how to deal with digital media to control this rather than being controlled. Yeah? That would be important things. And if only some investment firms would invest in the education of their own general public, that would be wonderful. Professor, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> this is Emma Wolf for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.